Hey YouTube! So today I'm going to be telling you about the cubes that I got for my birthday and Christmas. Since my birthday and Christmas are within a couple weeks of each other, I just decided to put these two videos together. And as you can see, I only have a couple cubes out in front of me, and that's because I actually only got three cubes for uh, my birthday and Christmas. So on my birthday, I got two cubes. A Pyromorphinx by Trefum and a Calvin's Puzzle 3x3x5, which is being modded right now, so I can't really show you that, otherwise it will give away what the mod is. So first up, the Trifum Pyromorphics. Now I knew I was getting this for my birthday, um, because I had to order it a month in advance so it would get here on time. But yeah, I was still in awe when I opened this. Before I even turned it, I just like admired how nice the stickers looked and how perfect the painting and build quality was. I was just amazed. And then I went to turn the puzzle, and things just got better from there. The turning is definitely better than the Wit 2 v one that I use as my main 2x2. I can't say as much about the corner cutting, I mean it's decent, but it's definitely not 45. It's still pretty good though, and the reverse isn't lacking either. The epoxy sculpt that he built it up with here, and filled the pieces with, um, adds a really nice heft to the puzzle. It doesn't feel chintzy at all, and you can really tell that this is a handmade puzzle. I had some difficulty solving the first Pyromorphinx I got, this is a Mozzie one, just because of how awful the turning was. I could never get an algorithm right, just because I could not finger trick this thing at all, just because the turning is so bad. But I will not say that for the Trifon Pyromorphinx. Long, complex algorithms such as the Y-perm that are necessary to solve this cube flow so nicely on this puzzle. There's no lockups, and even though there's barely anywhere to grip on the puzzle, it is still super easy to do it. So you guys need to tell me in the comments below if you would like to see a review of this puzzle. It was 60 bucks shipped, which I think is pretty reasonable. It's something that I bet a lot of you guys could afford if you wanted it for your, like, your birthday or something. So if you guys would like a review, just let me know in the comments below. Next, on to Christmas cubes, or in this case, Christmas cube. Because, of course, the only cube that I got for Christmas was the Shang Shao 10x10. Now I have this in a Christmas tree pattern. This took me way longer than it should have because my commutation skills aren't the greatest. But anyway, I thought this was pretty cool. Basically, if you want to make this pattern, um, I commutate. I started with a white face. I commutated all the green ones down here, and then I commutated these yellow ones down here. And then I placed the orange and blue edge pair thing down here, and the blue and yellow one up here. And I did the parity alg. Instead of doing it through this axis, I did it through this axis, so it would flip these two edges, and that can be the trunk of the tree. And same thing up here, I did it through this axis, so this could be the rest of the star. Then I just finished up the border with extra blue stuff. Anyway, the turning of this puzzle is just amazing. Super smooth with a slight kind of crunchy feeling. The corner cutting on this puzzle is also really nice. You can see that if I offset each layer by a slight amount, it can cut through really easily. So I've solved this puzzle about three times, yeah, three times since Christmas Day when I got it. And I have to say, I have no complaints. The corner cutting uh, makes the solves really nice. The smoothness of all the layers really contributes to the experience of the solve. And yeah, I honestly have no complaints with this cube. So guys, that is basically it for my Christmas slash birthday cubes video. I know it's not a lot, but these are some pretty exciting puzzles. Anyways, I will see you on my next video.